Where did it go? Where's my phone also? Why is everything suddenly missing? Ah, here's something. Porn star health problems. You guys are really sabotaging me these days. You know, I wouldn't have agreed to do this unless we were discussing the hard-hitting topics every week. And I think a few of you will agree with me when I say that nothing hits harder than a thick, veiny one. A thick, well-lit topic. <laughs> you know, as someone who can't even take his shirt off at the beach, I have a weird amount of respect for people who will so willingly just get totally naked for a room full of strangers and expose every hole to countless people on the internet who will inevitably see it a lot of whom could very well be middle-aged men with a fetish. With that being said, if I was coerced into that situation with the promise of money or just a chocolate bar, I would still have some pretty high demands for the location wherein I would be exposing myself. I think the question worth asking is, what diseases exist that would add to the pleasure of a videotaped sexual situation? This is gonna be a real vulgar video. I.e., if a young lady has whooping cough, do the convulsions make it better or worse on camera? If you have a cold, is that beneficial because cough syrup lubricates the process? Pun? Is a mid-scene coughing fit cause enough to stop a camera, or do you just keep rolling? And more to that point, if you have cholera, are you more likely to get called back for a scat film? Also, what sorts of safety precautions are being implemented on set? I would imagine at least every actor has to pass a Wemyss test. There's a lot of those substances that I would consider to be hazardous. Are there signs that say slippery when wet strewn about? If you're dealing with a particularly hefty man, do you have to have a posting that cautions against heavy lifting? Do you think they have a chiropractor on site to get them out of the more compromising and painful positions? Look, I know you said we were getting good footage, but let me tell you right now, if we need reshoots, you're going to have to schedule them for after the many surgeries I'm going to have to endure. At what age or after how many years in the industry does carpal tunnel become a problem? I wish I had Matt's hand. He could demonstrate that a whole lot better than I can. You know, I think it's fair to say that if you're getting something in your eye that often, regardless of what it is, you're gonna need glasses eventually. And what kind of Screen Actors Guild are we dealing with? Are children only allowed to be on set for a half day? And what kind of warm-up routines do these people do? I, is there jazzercise or hot yoga? I just want to make sure that everybody is stretching before all of the stretching. And I'll leave you with a stupid joke. If I had a female co-star, I'd like her to have a cheap-sounding name so that I could complain about how tight the budget is. <sighs> Welcome to Here's Something, where for some reason we're getting more and more vulgar as time goes on. If you'd like to see your ideas, thoughts, questions, opinions, or requests for advice in a video next week, leave them in a comment or on my Twitter or Facebook. I check Twitter most often, but that's just a suggestion, it's not a demand. I have a lot of other things going on, which are all in the description. And now I have to refill this glass. Thank <laughs> you.